for the following exercise, write an equation for the line graphed. All right, so here we have a linear line, right? And we have to find the equation for it, meaning that you know the general equation for a linear line, right? Y is equal to mx plus b. So what we're tasked to do when, we, when they ask us to find an equation or write an equation, they don't mean just the general one, okay? You might be saying, oh, great, well, we wrote it, we're done. Well, not exactly, right? We have to, what defines a linear line is its slope, right? How steep the slope is, right? And also where it intersects the y-axis, okay? So basically what I'm asked to do is find the slope and find the y-intercept. Okay. Now, when you're given a graph, finding the y-intercept might be easy. Uh, basically, remember, the y-intercept is the location at which the line intersects the y-axis. In this one, it looks like it beautifully intersects the y-axis right at 3. Right. So, knowing that that's the case, I actually already know what b is. b will be equal to 3. So, that's actually nice and easy. Okay. Now, the second thing is to find the slope. How could we do it? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. One way to ch would be to choose another point on that line. Let's say here, right? Write out the coordinates of that. That would be one comma one, right? X is one, Y is one. And then uh, use this point as well. What are the coordinates there? Well, zero and three, right? Zero comma three. What you can do now is you can take these two points and then plug it on in to your slope formula down here. You can totally do that, all right? Call whichever point you wanted, number two. Call, you know, let's say this is your second point, this was your first point, and just plug it on in, okay? The other way to do it would be to use any point along this line other than the y-intercept and plug that point into your equation here because you know what the, the y-intercept is as well. You can find it. Remember, if you know what the y-intercept is and you know what x is and you know what y is, you can always solve for the missing variable. In this case, it's the slope. So basically, if I know one point, so let's choose this point, 1, 1. If I know this point and I know the y-intercept, I can find the slope. Okay, watch. If I'm going to use this point here, let me highlight it. Okay, and I plug it on into my equation, y equals mx plus b. I realize the y value is 1. Okay, the slope I don't know, so leave it m. The x value is 1, so plug that in. And then plus, what's the y-intercept? Well, we found that before, 3. So this equation works out to look like something like this. 1 is equal to m plus 3. How do you solve for m? Simply subtract the 3 on over to both sides, and then realize we get uh, m is equal to negative 2. That's the slope. Now, I mentioned that to identify, uh, or what defines a linear equation is going to be the slope and the y-intercept. I realize now I can actually write the equation, right? That defines this line. Y will be equal to negative 2x plus 3. And there you go. That would be the equation that represents that line. Okay? Why don't you guys try the second example on your own now? Right? Pause the video if you like. And then check at the end for the answer. So, uh, what we're going to do now is same thing. I'm okay? probably going to move through this one a little faster. So I realize that I need to find the slope and the y-intercept value of this general equation. The y-intercept looks pretty clear to me. It looks like it's going to be negative 1. So I already know what b is, right? Negative 1. Now what I'm going to do is select any point along that line except for the y-intercept because remember if I remember look the y-intercept value has a coordinate of 0 comma 1. If you take your 0 which x is, and you plug that in for x here, what happens? The slope cancels, right? And what you're trying to solve for, you literally just eliminated. So you don't want to do that, all right? So you got to choose any other point. So find another point. I like this one. This one looks like it lines up pretty well, right? And that's going to have a coordinate value of 1, 2. So let's write that, 1, 2, all right? So this is my x, and that's my y. So let's plug that on in. So the y value is 2. The slope I'm looking for, the x value is 1, and then the y-intercept b is going to be a negative 1. Let's solve this for m. So this is 2 is equal to m minus 1. Add the 1 on over to the left-hand side, and we realize now that m will equal 3. Right? I just flipped them around now. So here's the slope. Remember that a 
Linear line is defined by its slope and its y-intercept, and now I can write that equation. That y will be equal to 3x minus 1. Voila. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If this video helped you out at all, why don't you give us a hand? Just hit that subscribe button. It's totally free to subscribe. All right, totally free, just like these videos. All right, we appreciate it very much. Take care.